Hi everyone, Kelsey here with video number 49 of New Fabric and today we're going to be looking at the Stardust collection and a free, fun, in the hoop sunglass case that you can make with this project and these fabrics. So first of all, let's take a look at the fabrics. Well, right away what I saw was that they're all small scale, so I need to make a small project. I was especially inspired by the retro glasses in the middle. So I went online and I found a sunglass case in the hoop pattern that fits inside a five inch by seven inch embroidery hoop. And it requires two hoopings to make the sunglass case. So first of all, I want to show you the sunglass cases. Um, not only is it a free embroidery pattern, it includes two free in the hoop quilting patterns. So as you can see, the pink one with the retro glasses, this is the first one that I made just to make sure everything stitched out okay, and it did, and it fits my glasses perfectly. And then once I was confident with the embroidery design, I personalized the next one with the second free quilting in the hoop pattern that she has. So we're gonna link the free pattern for you, and I am going to talk about some of the helpful products involved in making one of these in the hoop sunglass cases and then we're going to take a closer look at the fabric. So first of all the project calls for tearaway stabilizer. I use something called stitch and tear. Uh, the SKU is 177838 and it's a very firm tearaway. So when your project tears out of the embroidery hoop you get mostly a clean perforation around your project because the entire thing is finished in the embroidery hoop. Next, I want to talk about paper tape. If you embroider, you should own some sort of paper tape. This particular project, I use the Kimberbell paper tape and it's perfect for in the hoop projects. Um, it's easy to tear, it holds securely, and uh, it just gets the job done. So if you don't own paper tape, this is very handy to have because it holds. And there's actually a, a picture on the back of this product that I wanna show you. So this is what I mean. It holds pieces of fabric um, temporarily in your hoop as you're getting in the hoop projects stitched out. So very handy to have. With that being said, if you have to stitch through any sort of tape or anything that will gum up your needle, you want to have a package of these at home. This is a relatively new needle to the sewing market, and you want to use it when sewing with embroidery stabilizer that's sticky, temporary spray adhesive, or anything really that's adhesive. This particular needle has an extra large eye and a reinforced blade that prevents skipped stitches and provides a residue free needle. I'm saying this because I didn't use this on the first one and I had um, thread shred and then I touched the needle and I felt the gumminess. So after that I put this in my machine and it fixed the problem. So that's pretty cool. The last thing I want to show you are these really nice handy duckbill scissors. If you're embroidering, I highly recommend that you own a pair. Um, duckbill scissors, they look kind of funny, don't they? But what they are perfect for is trimming excess fabric for your appliques. So if I could get the overhead camera, I stitched out something very simple. This is the first stitch out in the project and I left it in the hoop so I could show you that I need to remove this excess fabric. So I'm gonna take my duckbill scissors right up to my project so that I'm not cutting through my project, but I'm cutting away the excess. And I'm kind of giving the excess fabric some tension. And as you can see, I'm getting right up to the stitches. And mostly what this will do is when your satin stitch comes around, you won't get a ton of pokies and your project will look very, very professional. So just continue going around like that. Anytime you are doing an applique or in the hoop project, these are very, very handy to have. And I'm just doing it quickly and hopefully you get the point. Makes cutting excess fabric so easy.
Okay, so these are all the things that I used for the project. Um, once you've completed your project, there are step-by-step -step instructions. The last step says, um, tip, use the marker to color any stabilizer that shows through and make sure it matches the thread. So what she's saying is you may get some stabilizer pokies. And I was like, oh no, pink, pink marker? Well, I went to the machine department and I found that we do sell fiber markers that are permanent in a nice variety of colors. And if you watched For Your Inspiration a couple weeks ago with Lynn, she demonstrates all the ways you can use these. So nice markers to have on hand. Lucky for me, there was a pink one in the package. So what I did, and I left some pokies visible so that you could see, maybe in this right-hand corner here, you may be able to see some white stabilizer. Well, you take your permanent marker and just go along coloring it in, and it looks perfect. Anywhere you see white pokies. So about this in the hoop sunglass case, I want uh, the close-up, please. I want to talk about this. Thank you. As you can see, there is no quilted flower in the middle because I personalized it. On the Baby Lock and Brother embroidery machines that we sell, you can skip forward and backward in the sequence of embroidery. So I decided to skip stitching out the quilting fill in the center and in its place, I clicked the Add button, and I found this beautiful P built in the Brother Luminaire, and Pat is my mother's name, so I put that in its place. Okay, so you can have fun with your embroidery machines and think outside of the box. If your name is longer, maybe you want to skip the entire center row, like I did with my name. My name is longer. There, there was no way it was going to fit right there. So I just skipped forward and backward in the sequence of embroidery, and I added my name. So get creative with these projects. Last thing I want to show you is the fabric. The Stardust collection, as I said earlier, is great for small scale projects. Um, the gold in this fabric is metallic, and I'm not going to read the SKUs because we're just going to tag the whole collection. Um, there's we love flamingos, so can never pass them up. The flamingos come in three colors, pink, blue, and kind of a cream. Here's the retro glasses. The third colorway. Clamshells on a green background currently loving clamshells right now, and then a beautiful floral to match that. And any, any one of these fabrics that has gold in it, not sure if you can see, but it does shimmer, it is metallic. So really, really pretty. I hope that you found inspiration with Stardust and making some sunglass cases. Keep in mind, you can put, you can use these for multiple things. Maybe you want to put your rotary cutter in here. Maybe you have, um, you want to give these away as a gift to a sewing friend and fill them up with sewing supplies. Thank you for watching. Everything's available in store or online at sewing.net. And please share this with your friends if you enjoyed the video.